It's time now for a little latest in local sports. And sports, the Wankin High School football team will be hosting the Pierce County Bears Friday night at J.C. Stadium. Kickoff Friday at 7.30 p.m. Tickets available this week at Sheffield Sports Shop. Tickets are $10. Pierce is the defending Double A state champions, and they're off to a 2-0 start this season. Wayne County currently 0-3, looking for its first win of the season. Our coverage will begin tomorrow night at the Wayne County Coaches Show, which airs at 6.30. Here's a portion of the show in which head coach John Warren says he's looking for a dogfight on Friday night. Yeah, I mean, we just got to be ready for a dogfight, you know, and that's what I just kind of keep preaching. I know how Coach Herring does it over there, and, you know, those kids will fight and they'll be nasty, and we just got to match that um, intensity, and we've been trying to do that in practice a little bit um, without trying to risk kids getting hurt, obviously, but, you know, might have a couple of coaches dress up and play some Wildcat quarterback. Um, I heard you put on a helmet this past week. I, and I did put on a helmet yesterday. <laughs> How'd that uh, go? <laughs> it went good, but I, I started with 150 pounders. I didn't want to get the, the big boys out there going against me. I'm a little right. washed up for that. So Dawson Sykes didn't go after No, you? no. They were asking for it. I said, look, I'll start with him, and then maybe next week I'll go up 10 pounds. But, yeah, I mean, that's what it takes. We're just trying to have fun, you know, keep these kids engaged. Um, you know, I, I've been on the big stage. I know what it takes to win. We just got to get these guys believing in themselves. And it's hard when you go from opponents that are better and better and better each week. Um, but we just got to keep fighting and clawing and just try to find those uh, small victories. As we mentioned, this quarterback, he's going to be in the Wildcat most nights and or most of the night he wants to run. So as a defensive coach, do you have a spy on him to have somebody go where he goes or you just have your basic formation and try to stop? How, how, you, how are you going to try to stop Mr. McGaffer? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's not easy. And um, I could probably list 15 other schools last year that know it's not easy. Um, but, you know, it's just trying to keep, you know, he, the, the quarterback himself is going to do what he does. He's going to hit the hole. He's going to run hard. He's going to finish runs. He's going to get his four yards a clip. And, you know, we just got to try to get him behind the chains, get him doing stuff they don't want to do, whether that be moving the front, you know, changing the, the picture that they see, showing the lineman a different look that they haven't seen. I mean, that's the one thing they, they think they know how you're going to line up to it. Um, you know, we just got to change that picture and try to confuse them a little bit to, to make their reads a little different. And once again, those comments, Coach John Moore, you can hear all his comments tomorrow night at the Coaches Show. Again, that airs tomorrow night at 6.30. Some other games in the area Friday night, Appling County is at Swainsboro, Bradwood, Glen, Brantley hosts Vidalia, Brunswick is at Effingham County, Camden County hosts Rebal High School out of Florida, Charlton County hosts Uly, Long County in action, taking on Savannah. Or sorry, they're in Savannah tonight taking on Groves again. Long County playing football on Thursday night due to all those schools in Savannah having to share stadiums again. That game's tonight in Savannah taking on Groves. Jeff Davis hosts Tattnall. Liberty hosts Jenkins. New Hampshire hosts Richmond Hill. Statesboro, Greenbrier, Ware County hosts Bartram Trail. Once again, Wayne County hosts Pierce County at 7.30 Friday night tomorrow at J.C. Stadium. JV team in action today over in Statesboro. But you look like a softball team on a – on the road today in a key region matchup with Perry High School. Once again, just four teams in this region in softball is BC All Boys School. New Hampshire opted not to field a girls softball team this season. So it's Wayne Ware, Perry, and Warner Robins. Wayne off to a 2 0 start in region play as they beat up on Warner Robins in two three inning games. Pretty good Perry team should be a good matchup today. Region play again that game time 5 30. Girls return home this coming Monday. They'll host South Evangham. That'll be our next broadcast here on Big Dog Country FM 105. Point five FM. Volleyball teams on the road Wednesday. JV defeated Bryan County 2-0. Marina Howard led the team in blocks and Carly May led the team in digs. Varsity won by a score of 2-1 over Bryan County but lost to Appling County 2-1. Mason McDuffie had her best outing with 12 serves and zero errors in both matches. Freshman Jaden Thompson played in the varsity match against Appling had two digs and an ace. Bailey Spradley led the team in assists and Molly Robinson led the team in blocks. Varsity team on the road again today in Tattnall. Those matches begin today at 6 p.m. The Wayne County Gold softball team defeated McIntosh 19-6. Wayne had 13 hits in the game. Brooklyn Wood, Madeline Spell, Alyssa Couch, and Brooklyn Griffin each collected two hits for Wayne. Brooklyn and Alyssa each drove in three runs for Wayne. Again, Adriana Zedja was the winning pitcher. She had five strikeouts. Braves will look for the three-game sweep over Colorado tonight. First pitch 720 here on Big Dog Country FM 105.5. Braves win last night by a score of 5-2. Toronto comes in to take on the Braves this weekend. NFL season kicks off tonight. Pretty good matchup. The Kansas City Chiefs taking on Lamar Jackson, the Baltimore Ravens, who picked up Derek. 
Derrick Henry in the offseason to bolster their running game. Chiefs with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and company. All that tonight on NBC. Friday, the Eagles and Packers tee it up in Brazil. Sunday, the Falcons host the Pittsburgh Steelers at 1 p.m. in Atlanta. That game on FM 105.5. Jaguars at Miami at 1 p.m. on Sunday. That kickoff at 1 o'clock on AM 1370. College football Saturday at 12 noon. We've got Georgia Tech. Ranked in the top 20 for the first time in a long time. Looking to go 3-0 at Syracuse. That game on AM 1370. That's a 12 noon kickoff in Georgia Southern here on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5 Saturday night. They're on a road trip at Nevada. Again, that game 8 p.m. Saturday here on Big Dog Country. FM 105.5 FM. Georgia and Athens for the home opener. The opponent, Tennessee Tech. That kickoff in Athens at 2 p.m. Other games, the marquee matchup this weekend is Texas at Michigan. Other games, Iowa State at Iowa, Tennessee at NC State, Boise State at Oregon, South Carolina at Kentucky, the 330 SEC game. Former George quarterback Brock Vandegrift now the starting quarterback at Kentucky. Middle Tennessee at Ole Miss, South Florida at Alabama, and App State is at Clemson. That's going to do it for latest in local sports.